up above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Nine, ten. Oh, now, where could it be? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, you're, you're getting warm. Oh, you, you, you're getting warm. You're getting even warm. Oh, you're getting really warm now, but... Uh, no, no, you're getting cold now. You're freezing. Oh, dear. Hello, what's going on here? Oh, well, we're playing a good game, Geoffrey. Uh -huh. uh, George and I have hidden Bungle's teddy, and he doesn't know where it is. <laughs> Bungle's looking for it, and we're helping him. If he gets near to where it's hidden, we say he's getting warm. Yeah, and if he's nowhere near where it's hidden, we say he's getting cold. That sounds a good game. Go on, Bungle, keep on looking. Uh -huh. oh, I wonder if it's over here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, that's it. You're getting warm now. Oh, oh yeah, you, you're getting very warm, Bungle, very warm. Oh, Bungle, you're boiling, you're boiling, you're what? boiling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, ah. Teddy! Yeah. Oh, well done, Bungle. Yes, well done, Bungle. That's a good game, that. Now, listen, you three, I've got to go out shopping now, but uh, Jane and Freddie are out in the garden if you want anything. Oh, Geoffrey, if you're going shopping, could you get me some of those crunchy things, please? Crunchy things? Oh, yes, you know, I had them once before. Oh, they're yummy. Oh, yes, uh, and could you get me some of that red stuff in a jar, please, Jeff, because I love that. Red stuff in a jar? Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, Jeff, I I'd like some of those long, stringy things, please. Long, stringy things? Red stuff in a jar and crunchy things? Well, I'll see what I can do then. Right, now then, I need my keys. Yes, keys, spare change. And my wallet. Oh, my shopping bag. See you all later. Be good, won't you? Bye. Right, it's my turn now. I'll hide something, Bungle. I'll hide right, something. I'll close my eyes. Yes, yes, close your yes, eyes, yes. then. Yes. Ooh, a zippy. Cheating zippy. Come here. Uh, have you done yet? Have you hidden something? No, yes. hang on. Yes. There. Now, I've hidden the storybook, Zippy. You can look now. Oh, oh good, good. Uh, choo -choo -choo. He's getting cold, George. He's getting cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very, very cold. <laughs> oh, freezing. I see. Yeah. You'll never find it, George. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it's getting a bit warmer. Yeah. Oh, warmer. Much oh, warmer. Yeah. Oh, much warmer. He's getting hot, yeah. Oh, now you're getting really hot. Yes, yeah. yeah. boiling. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. Found it! Oh, simple pimple, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, uh, well, answer it then, Zippy. What? Oh. Uh, uh, Rainbow House, uh, Zippy is speaking. To whom do you wish to speak? Just behave there, please. Uh, oh, who is it? I well, don't know. It's a lady. <laughs> oh, give it to me. Oh, uh, hello. This is Bungle Bear here. I'm afraid Jeff is not here at the moment. Oh, dear. I do need to speak to him. It's quite important. <laughs> Who is he, Bungle? Who well, is uh, he? You, you listen, George. <laughs> Bungle, I wonder if you could give Geoffrey a message. I, I, I'm not Bungle. Oh, <clears throat> this is a George uh, speaking. Oh, uh, well, listen, George. Tell Geoffrey when you see him that I'm coming round right away. See you yes, soon. Yes. Bye. Yes, yes, but, 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 but. Oh. She said she's coming round to see Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, but who was it? Well, she didn't say. Hello, I'm back. Oh, Jeffrey, there was a telephone call for you. Who was it, Bungle? Who was it? Well, I don't know, but, but she had a very nice voice. She? So it wasn't a man's voice then, Bungle? Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not a man, no. It wasn't a deep voice. It was high, like this. Hello. Is Jeffrey Hayes please? Well, it can't be Jane, can it? Because she's outside in the garden. Oh, I know, it must be Auntie Patsy. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't Auntie Patsy, no. Oh. Well, look, Bungle, can you describe the voice to me? I might know who it was then. Well, it was a different sort of voice, sort of... Oh, dear, I do need to speak to Jeffrey. Oh, yes, I do know somebody who speaks a little bit like that. 
I can't think who it is at the moment. Sorry, Bongo. Oh, well, you'll find out soon. Mm -mm. She's coming round to see you. Mm. Right, here we are. Here are the things you asked me oh, to get right. for you. There you are. Oh, you you oh. Well, I didn't ask for these. Yes, you did, Bungle. You asked me to get some of those nice, crunchy things that you like. Oh, yes, Geoffrey, but I didn't mean crisps. I meant some of those things that I have for breakfast sometimes. You meant breakfast cereal, yes. Bungle. Didn't describe it very well, oh. did you? And I didn't mean red jam. I, I meant the stuff to put on my chips. You know, you, you give it a shake. It's called tomato ketchup, Zippy. Oh, no. Should have said so in the first place. Mm, this is spaghetti. That's not what I wanted. I, I wanted lots Long thing, sweetie things. You, you know they're they're black and and, and chewy and, and and and. It's called licorice, George. Licorice. Now listen, you three. You didn't describe the things very well to me, did you? It's a good job I could guess what they all wanted. Now, hang on a minute. I lost my wallet. You know what I've done, don't you? I've left my wallet on the shop counter. Mm. Oh, dear. Now, listen, you stay here, because I have to pop back to the shop. But, Geoffrey, what about the lady who's coming to see you? Well, tell her I'll be back as soon as I find my wallet. I shan't be long. Yes, but... Uh, oh, dear. Is Geoffrey back oh, yet? Well, uh... oh, he, he came back, but he's gone off again. Where was Geoffrey going in such a rush? Well, he's run back to the shop. He thinks he left his wallet there. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, shall we sing you a song until he gets back? Oh, oh yes, yes we do. Good. Well, it's all about describing things, like a game. See, if you listen very carefully, you may be able to guess what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Here's a game you can play. You listen to what we say. George, here's one for you. What's got four legs and wags its tail? A horse. No, not a horse, George. It's smaller than a horse. Here's another clue. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, a cat. No, I know. A doggy, a doggy. Right. <laughs> here's a game you can play. You listen to what we say. And if you do, you may find out the name of what What's big and cuddly and covered in brown fur? Big and cuddly and covered in fur. Oh, is it me? Yes, Bungle, you. Oh. <laughs> Here's a game you can play. You listen to what we say. And if you do, you may find out the name of whatever we're talking about. One. What has four wheels and an engine and zooms up and down the street and going beep beep and people sit in it and someone drives uh, a car? That's not fair, I haven't finished yet. Oh. <laughs> it's a game you can play. You listen to what we say. And if you do, you may find out. You to the potting shed. Oh, yeah. hi, we'll be in the garden if you need us, all right? right. Oh dear, I hope Jeffrey's found his wallet. Hello? Oh, hello. Who's that? May I come in? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yes. I found before. Uh, I'm looking for Jeffrey. Is he here? Well, he'll be back in a minute, I hope. Well, you, but Rod Jane and Freddie are in the garden. Shall I get them? I know it's all right. Has he gone to the shops by any chance? Oh, yes, he has. I thought so. I'll just see if I can catch him. Yes. I knew that was the lady on the telephone. I recognised her voice. <laughs> oh, dear. Guess what? The shop was closed for lunch. Oh, oh. Geoffrey, that, that lady who telephoned came round to see you. She? Oh, well, can you describe what she looked like, Bungle? Um, oh, she had yellowy sort of hair. No, no, it wasn't yellow, George. It was brown. Yes, dark brown. Yeah. Light brown. Dark brown. Light brown. 
ghetto. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, come on, describe something else about her. Oh, well, she was tall. Yes, very tall. She, she was small. Tall. Small. Oh, dear. And now I don't know if she's tall or small, if she's got light hair or yellow hair. Uh, come on, you all three saw her. Try to describe exactly what she looked like. Uh, well, 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 she was wearing a white thingy. A white dress? No. Oh, uh, a white T-shirt? No. A white blouse? No, let me think. Well, well it was white. White thingy, yes. Yes, it was a white thingy, like, like that. Yes, just like that. Oh, 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 it's you. Hello again. Oh, it's Maggie. You left your wallet on the counter while you were paying your bill. I thought I'd better return it. My wallet? Oh, thanks ever so much, Maggie. See, Maggie works at the shop. Oh. They told me someone was looking for me. They tried to describe exactly what you looked like, but, uh, well, from their descriptions, I couldn't think who it was. Well, it was me. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Thanks very much, Maggie. I'll tell you what, whilst you're here, would you like to read them all a story? And I'll get oh. us all some lunch. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. You will stay for lunch, won't oh, you? yes, please. Smash it. Oh, come and sit down, Maggie. Oh, oh. I guess it. Sit down here, but get a, 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 a the book's just there, Maggie, under oh, that right. complete packet. That's it. Yeah. God. Oh, you'll like this story. Oh, it's called Zoe's Zoo. Oh. Zoe was a zookeeper. She helped look after the animals at Park City Zoo. One sunny day, as she was feeding the penguins, a little boy called Jack came rushing up, shouting excitedly. Zoe, Zoe, he cried. Come quickly. One of the animals has escaped. So he dropped the bucket of fish she was holding. Oh. Now, describe what this animal looked like, she said to Jack, and let's just hope it's not one of the dangerous ones. Oh, no, smiled Jack. It looked friendly. It had quite a long neck. Long neck, repeated Zoe. Quick, follow me. With Jack running along behind, Zoe sprinted across the zoo to the giraffe's enclosure. Oh, the giraffe. There, peacefully munching some leaves, were the two zoo giraffes, Ginger and Pickles. Well, they haven't escaped, have they? said Zoe, scratching her head. Now, you did say this escaped animal had a long neck, didn't you? Can you describe anything else about it? Um. well, it did have black and white stripes. Black and white stripes, gasped Zoe. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on. They left the giraffe enclosure and ran off in the direction of the zebra's field. Oh, zebra. When they got there, Zoe began to count the zebras. One. Two, three, four. Well, that's very funny. All the zebras are here as well. No giraffes missing, no zebras missing. Very odd. Now, let's get this straight, she began. This animal you saw wandering about had a long neck and black and white stripes. Jack nodded. Well, can you describe anything else about it? Jack thought for a moment, then said, It had little horns and big ears. Just at that moment, a face popped up behind the bushes. It was a friendly-looking face with the little horns and big ears. The animal stepped out and Zoe gasped when she saw that it had both a long neck and black and white stripes at the back. Well, bless my bucket, laughed Zoe. <laughs> what sort of animal are you? I've never seen anything quite like you before. <laughs> Just then, Zena, the other zookeeper, came running up quite out of breath. Oh, well done, Zoe! she panted. You've managed to catch Oscar. Oscar, said Zoe. Who's Oscar? This is Oscar, explained Zena. Oscar the Okarpi. He's new to the zoo. Just arrived today. An Okarpi, said Zoe. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. oh thank, thank you, Maggie. You that was God. lovely. Yeah. <laughs> right, can you help me clear the table? Because lunch is nearly ready. Oh, right. I'm afraid we've got to go now, but we'll see you again soon. Take care, won't you? Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Hey, oh, yeah, well, well, what are we having, Jeffrey? Well, let's see, Zippy. I thought we could have some of those flat white things, you know, with the, with the yellow bits in the middle. Then we can have some long, crinkly things. And how about those little, round, green things? <laughs> what? <laughs> it means fried egg chips and peas. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're great. Oh, yeah, can give you one a shake of my red stuff. <laughs> That's called tomato ketchup, Zippy. Oh, yeah. George, Zippy and Bungle explore simple scientific ideas in these three Rainbow Sciences fun books, now available in bookshops published by Thames Methuen. <laughs>